lot of what we work at here is the fundamentals of uh, fine motor skills, uh, particularly with the injured guys. Uh, catch pass is essential for us, and uh, we find the development of that down here in Connacht has has really paid paid dividends for us for, uh, to our academy. What we had on the pitch there was basically working on skills under under fatigue. Um, it's a massive thing that we've brought in over the last couple of years is to test guys when they're really under pressure um, after a, a fitness hit and put it straight into a skills block, either a catch pass or a decision making. Yeah, well, I suppose pre-season is a, it's a busy time for for all involved, uh, both players and coaches. It's a, it's a real big opportunity for us to. Um, put a massive focus on, on the individual and uh, on, on individual player development and, and that includes you know everything from you know physical development, uh, skills development, uh, nutrition, uh, mental skills, uh, personal development um, you know and, and, and conditioning then for you know for, for rugby when eventually they get around to playing rugby but that's not essentially the focus at this stage. Yeah, like skills development have been massive in, in Connacht Rugby for the last few years and uh, I think that's, you know, when you see the number of players that are now playing professional rugby with Connacht and, and you know, on a successful Connacht team that are playing a, an expansive brand of rugby, it, it has meant that, you know, it's, it's now utilisation of, of the development of all them skills that uh, the, our fellows have had for the last number of years. But, you know, for us, I mean, we've when we look at what what we want from a Connacht player, we want him to be creative and, and adaptable. So no matter who the head coach is and his philosophy and how he wants to play the game, you know we must ensure that all our players have the have all of the skills necessary to, to play the type of game that that coach uh, essentially is looking to do. And and if he looks to change that up, depending on the weather or the opposition, we need players that are able to adapt to that. So I think uh, having the fundamentals in place are you know and particularly at the earliest stage we can get the players uh, is very very important. And 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 the focus there is on you know, very good technique. Yeah, so our, our red list is, is a bit high at the moment. Um, we had a couple of end of season in, uh, injuries last year where there was guys either with chronic issues or quite acute issues towards the end of the season that needed surgery. So uh, we had a couple of them and then we had a couple of guys come back from the Irish um, tw under 20s World Cup as well with a couple of shoulder injuries and things like that. So um, just trying to get all those guys back now. From my from my perspective, I've, I've been doing one-on-one -on -one rehab sessions with them, a lot of treatment and um, rehab running like we saw this morning. So. In our pre-season period, I suppose we've got quite an interesting mix. So we've got a number of uh, first-year players in our program that are just out of school, and then we've got players that maybe in second or third year in the program. So we've got is we've got um, quite a contrast of what we're working on um, with our with our new players. I suppose it's just about establishing some kind of basic foundations of uh, strength work inside the gym and some basic conditioning uh, on the pitch. And then I suppose we work with our second and third year players, uh, it's a little bit more tailored on an, on an individual basis and I suppose what their individual requirements are.